Hey guys, Simple Steam again. Ah, uh, you probably just heard that. But this show is about CO2 versus HPA. Uh, one thing I like about HPA is the regulator. This little, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I'm on empty, but the regulator tells you how much air is left. One thing, big difference, uh, CO2 does not have one. just has this uh, fill at the top and no regulator. Also, although HVA tanks can be more expensive, uh, they're well worth it. One thing I hate about HPA, I mean, one thing I hate about CO2 is it's Basically liquid. And this is empty, but when they're full, it's a, CO2 is basically liquid. So if it gets hot or it gets cold, your pressure is going to go up and it's going to go down. That's one thing I really don't like. HPA, you just might lose a little bit of pressure if it goes hot. I mean, really cold. So that's it. The size difference. Uh, this is a 48 cubic inch, and this is a 20 ounce CO2 tank. See the height difference? I mean, 68 would probably be right here. But this is against your shoulder. See how far out this is? It should be to your, about your elbow, which this is. And this is more extended out, so you're going to be holding your gun out farther. I really don't like that. Plus, it's heavier. Once it's all filled up and stuff, Air is really light, as you can guess. Air is light. CO2 is basically liquid. It's kind of like, compared to water, it's going to be heavy, no matter what. Plus, I like filling different. You screw the cap on and fill that one up. On this, you have fill nipples. Haha, uh -huh, funny, I just said nipples. But yes, you have a fill nipple. Um, You can also get protectors for that. You, uh... Thread savers. Well, I'm, I'm not really sure about thread savers. If it's on your gun and something messes up, like if you drop it like really hard, like you smash it, like it could knock your threads down a little bit. I don't know how strong it'll be, but uh, all around, I choose HBA. It's gonna be more accurate. Because you're not just gonna be you're not gonna be shooting out with liquid and stuff. Also, one thing I just love about this HPA tank, as you can read, made in the USA. Right here, this I don't know if you can see, but it says made in China. I do not like Chinese products; they all hate me. Also. Uh, one thing about this is hydro testing. HPA, you have like a longer hydro testing day. Uh, CO2, I don't, you have like less, I think. But also, CO2 basically is so cheap that if you need a hydro test it, you should really just buy a new cylinder. With HPA, since it's uh, more expensive, you should just stick with it and get hydro tested. So, well. HPA, also, I like with HPA, I don't know if it's the gun or actually HPA, but if you shoot your gun and you're out of uh, CO2, it'll do that thing where it sounds like it's going to be fully automatic, and you know what I mean, CO2 users. But with HPA, it doesn't do that, it just simply runs out of air. I really love that. I don't know if something's with my tank though, but when it's on really low pressure, it leaks out of right here. This little brown where the brown meets the black spot so I mean that's kinda cool I guess although I really would like you to upgrade to HPA scenario players and speedball players I know speedball players don't use CO2 because their guns won't handle it but scenario players really get HPA it'll make your gun last longer and you won't tear up anything in your gun. CO2 can just get stuff wet 
and it's not going to be pretty when you open it to clean it. HPA is really easy to clean, too, <laughs> because it doesn't need cleaning. So, either this, or, well, let's just throw this out. Okay, 68 cubic inch. This one right here is a 48 cubic inch. 68 is what most people use. Uh, it does get around to a 1,200 shots, depending on what marker you're using. This one gets, uh, well, this is a 3,000 PSI. So it probably gets around five to 600 or less, because um, 3,000 PSI is a lower pound pressure. But also, get a thread saver. I can't tell you, uh, you might not be see, but I dropped this when I was using my old gun. It has a big dent right there. So, upgrade to HPA. It's going to be safer for your gun, and actually, the tanks, I think, are more durable. So you can drop it on the ground, and it'll be alright. Alright, signing out. Subscribe.